All right, pinball fans, hope everybody's having a good day. Um, today I'm going to go over the POV system. It looks like development has slowed down a little bit. It looks like the changes are um, kind of slowing down. So I think we're in a good spot right now that the POV system is, is pretty well set. So it's been a while since I did a video on it. Uh, a good bit's changed. Um, I see the VPW team at least like three or four table updates a day. So I figured today would be a good time to... Uh, go over some uh, table POVs so you can maybe adjust it how you want it I'm going to uh, delete mine I already have one made here but we're gonna remake it we got um, the new Ripley's they just did an update so I'm gonna load it up and try to go over that so, your table should look something like this when you first fire it up. It'll be in legacy mode. You won't have a side art. I just added that to kind of fill in um, the uh, space on the sides. I noticed they didn't have any. But So, may say all we're going to do is hit F12. We're going to go to the right flipper. We're going to go down with the magnet save, the right magnet. We're going to go where it says legacy. We're going to hit the right flipper two times and then we're going to hit enter or launch ball and that's going to turn our play field back around okay don't worry about the red writing at the bottom it just means you don't have the uh, cabinet uh, numbers already put in if you have your cabinet numbers in your video VPX video settings it'll help try to set it to whatever you have but I just leave mine at zero and try to um, yeah go from there so First thing we're going to do, I'll just go down the list and um, show you what each thing does and how we're going to adjust it. So, as we're at the top, we're going to go down one. That's going to be the horizontal offset. That basically just moves it left and right. You shouldn't have to mess with that too much very often when you adjust that. But just for some reason, if the table's off to one side or another, you can um, you can go left and right and adjust that from there. All right. Then the next one's going to be the vertical offset that moves your table up and down. So you, you will use this a good bit. So you can go ahead and get acclimated to that. All right, we're going to go down one more. The table it's going to have X and then Y and Z are both going to be green highlighted. So if you try to adjust here, it's going to shrink, basically shrink the whole table up. It's going to do the sides and the front and back. So. We're going to go down one more, and then it should just, just have the table X scale highlighted green, so we can adjust that. We're going to go out to the sides. I'm going to bring mine out to where I made the artwork. Um, this will help. If you have side blades or side artwork and you enable them, it helps keep the table in aspect ratio. So if you stretch it all the way out to the sides where, um, basically if you download a table and you have to you stretch it all the way out, I mean, it'll still look decent, but the um, the lights and stuff might be a little oval shaped just because you stretched them out a little, you know, a little bit compared to the um, the table YZ. All right, so I'm going to put it about right there, about 116, 117. I'm going to go down one more to the XY scale. I'm going to have to shrink that up so we can fit everything in on the screen. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm actually going to leave that just about like that. So about 103 looks like. That's pretty much as far as we can stretch it out without cutting off the top or the bottom. Um, we'll see as we get further away down. We'll go down one more. It's the top Z offset. And basically what that does, that just raises and lowers the top end of your table. So some tables, when you bring it in, it might be sitting way down like this and you might just have to adjust it to bring it up even with the rest of the table all right and you could adjust it a little bit um the and of course the window bottom z that's where the flipper side is so you could bring your flippers up you can lower your flippers down just depends on how how you want it to look i usually stick with about usually between five and eight so we'll go with about a seven and we'll go up to about six say about six we'll go to about six 
All right, we're going to go down one more, and that's a player X. And basically that kind of shifts the table, like, you you very seldom will ever touch player X. That kind of shifts it from side to side. Um, it kind of skews the table. You, you want it to be straight on. So player X, you won't hardly ever mess with. Player Y, okay, what that does, that, that slides it. So if you wanted to look, see more of the back of the flippers, you could um, go down on the table Y, or up, I should say. And then, as you can see, you can see more of the back of the flippers. Some people like to see more of the back of the flippers. For me, I like to fix more of the top end of the table to have it more lean um, so it doesn't look like it's like laying down up top. So I try to get a happy median. You don't want to go too far to where you it looks like you're um you know you're looking down over the middle of the table playing. Um so I like to keep it usually between I'd say I'd say between five and ten is a good number. I'm gonna leave mine about I'm gonna put it on about eight. That's a pretty good number. I'm going to leave it right there. And then the very last one, we got player Z. And that's going to adjust the other end of the table. So you can bring the back of the table. So if, if stuff stretched way out on the top end of your table, this will bring it up and try to get it more into uh, an actual size. You don't want things stretched way out. You can tell with the lights, the... Uh, flasher domes, usually the bumper caps, uh, pop-up targets, anything. You, you want them to look kind of normal. So we're going to go up to about till they start looking pretty good. I say about I say about 89 probably good. That looks pretty good right there. Alright. And that's pretty much it. Um, so like I said, for the most thing, you, you try to keep X and the Y as close as possible. If they're off a little bit, um, it still won't be, um, you know, it won't look like it's skewed. Like, if you look at the circle lights um, going up from Ripley, they still look like they're a circle. Once you start getting too far out, um, you know, if you start stretching them way out, they start getting that, that oval distorted look. Okay, so that's the kind of reason I, I'll add side art to all my tables. Just to, it kind of fills in the space and gives it that more of a 3D depth look, and um, it just looks better on the cab. Now my cab is flush mounted with the glass, so um, you know it helps a lot too. So, all right, hope that helps you guys out. Make sure you uh, oh, make sure you hit um while you're in this, make sure you hit start or one on the keyboard to save it. It'll make you an INI &I file. It'll be saved. Then hit F12, turn it off. That way, when you fire it back up next time, it should be where you left it. All right. Like I said, hope that helps you guys out. Till next time, have a good one.